Kula <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the sound. I don't
ま、そんな
mubiri gwa mukade wa fe nga ufurumizibwa tuagala bwinda okubaniriza bulinya lya mukama wa fe Yesu Kristo oyo etuweleza tujja golokoka oluyimba bisatu mwa satu mubiri ubitabo ebyenda kuzino Nolu vanyuma galuwe te ni mkwano kwa fe Kwa tu situa wano Tuna agenda maso Nga eteka teka Weli
Uganda kakati tugenda kusawa ya France Cup ya mkodi Elanga tuja basa ba tuchite mbwangu Tuja kuita Chala Mario Nagenda Aje Aje Keke Chimuli Children of the late John, please come and play your way.
the doctor team, the medical team. Probably they are not here. Uh, okay, the family. Uncle Steven. and nieces, nephews and nieces. of John, led by Dr. Bonnie and Gonale uh, Bonasasida. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Nyakenda, family led by Professor Nyakenda.
Family of the late Blas Yochigozi, Chimichituse, Njuchi Family, Mercantile Credit Bank, Vision Group, Namtamba T Estate, Olive Chiganda, Chamber of Commerce, Family of Hope Mukasa, Family of Alan and Dorin Waligo, Family of the late Juliet Kabwa, Family of the late Eke Lutaya, Abeki Lutaya, Bainana family, Alam family, ne family of Beswedi, Nyangaviachi. Your flowers, your wreath have been well received. And Uganda Wildlife Authority, your wreath have been received. We thank you very much, but time cannot permit us to have you lay them. Kakati of a cancer is Okay. Kakati Katukole Direction of Chimare, Natugendo Pita Bogesi, a Chimulicha Prime Minister to Chise Kubanga, a child named Mirimoe Mikuru Jamali Riza, a Rabuana to Chija to Kakatako, or College Taxa. Kakati tukenda musawa eo kogera. Kakati tukenda kutandika ni Marion agenda.
once again pardon us um, protocol a little changing and changed kakati nunga mizibwa anti family ya against john nagenda yeso ko kuogera iranga tumidwa opetika of nice wo tubaniriza nyo wano kufamu ya John ila tubewa za nyo okubela nti musobodo okubela na fe okubwa John wea tuwa kumaso kuluwa mkaga sawa za lizi yao muenda ezole kuluwa mwabade na fe mutubu zebu za nyo ila mutula vilite tuwa kalo kweba za nyo awa sawo abako la kujon abako ze chinene nyo okulaba anga bata asobula mbwe na ye baibuli ya tugamba chobula mbwa fe gulinga luta beruku wa yulu walu wendeyo kale wakama wati weyageze na gama john jangu ewangi kwa galo kweba ze nyo Government ya Uganda, no kusingi ya dala, His Excellency, Jaja, Jeno, Yewe, Kakuta Mseveni, Abatu kozo uru nje nyo, Oblambwa John inga blamu, Oblambwa John inga alwade, Atene kakati, Kufa kwa John, Bati batule kile deko, no mloni no gumu tuwe waza nyo ngendo kole chitalicha huli jo okwe waza mchala wa fiku wanga yungu kufi na ye chinka katako okumwe waza nyo enyo enyo kubanga atukiza echila ilotia laga nane john amulabilite amuja njabye amuja njabye Amuja njami. We were in your Marion. We were in your Dela. We are really appreciative and very grateful. We should not take things for granted. It hasn't been easy. It has been very trying. But you have persevered. And you have seen John through. I remember we called you. My wife called you on Saturday around midday and you assured her that actually John was going to be discharged soon to be treated from home. He was getting manageable. Only to be called one hour later that rushed to the hospital some complications have arisen and those complications were insurmountable. Nitukwe Tuba saba, mwongire ugeenda maso we mutio, ila Marion tuwerenga, tumugumia kubange chintu chino kufi wako muno chamanyi nyo, chamanyi daranurecho, tuyongiru kulawanga Marion, tajula. Sinza kumala yuba akwebaza, na ye mwanzikirize, mwenamba game tuwebaziza nyo, 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 nyo. Sima ina vikambu ya kuzi sana. Ye, uweta nze nkaya nilo hudi. Ndabi kangenda nyo na oneka mfuka ngo hivyo ufuzi katinjoge la nyo. Nolecho, katusabe mkama fenatu kunye, atuise mkusera chino sicha angu, mkama wafi hivyo sima. Kakati, 
Nienda kuita mwami na sasa ya Honorable Aje, uh, please come and deliver your yeah. Come and speak on behalf of the friends. Friends, you could accompany Honorable Nasasira. Mweko, Yemtegeza, Abapungu Razifena. Please come and join uh, Honorable Nasasira, friends of John, please. Marion and the children, Stephen Nagenda and the Dika Nagenda family, Francis Nagenda, the head of the Nagenda clan, the church, you will, you will forgive me for any breach of protocol. Our retired Vice President, Prince Wasaja, representing the Uganda Kingdom, distinguished ministers and members of parliament who might be here, a special friend of Naganda Ambassador, Oyen, and your wife, Iki, who have come all the way from Norway for this, you know. And I think you should join me as one of Nagenda's friends. Can you come and join me as one of Nagenda's friends? And Titi, all distinguished ladies and gentlemen who have come here to celebrate our friend, his life, Nagenda. Uh, who passed on Saturday at approximately 85 years because he was remaining with only a month and a half be 85 years. So for me, he was only 85. As a mathematician, we correct the nearest. I have been asked to speak on behalf of friends of Nagenda, which I recognize as a great honor because Nagenda had thousands and thousands of friends. I only have known Nagenda for about 36 years. But Nagenda, in his 85 years, he must have had many friends. Even if I started from King's College, Budo, where he went for his secondary school education, and to Kavale, well, yeah, because he was ruled at King's College, he was sent to Kavale, which he normally called that he was sent to exile. I can see in the book that he was going in Siberia. But where I think it also shaped him in terms of seeing Uganda in a broader way at that early age. Friends of sports like cricket, he played the tennis, we played with him. Friends at Makere, friends in Nairobi where he started working, friends in UK where he worked, friends of Kampala Club, who I'm sure are here, where we enjoyed a game of tennis, and any beverage is there after. Friends of hospice, where he worked, and eventually became a chairperson. But I'm proud to say that when he was in hospice, 
the chairperson at that time was my own wife Naomi, whom she always called chairman until this. She always called her chairman. And later, I think, Dr. Boni, who took over the chairperson. The Gurus, who was part of members of Kampala Club, some of whom are here, and those who are here, we can stand up, you know, Richard Page and others, the Gurus, where we had a group of people, others have left us, like Professor Teria Kategaya and others, where we shared a weekend at somebody's home and had a good weekend and discussed. <laughs> Friends of Uganda, and I'm happy Prince Vasaja is here. And as I will be told, again, I came all the way from UK at the time before Masaka fell, when I am, I, I, and the company, Sarasaja Kavaka, through the Uganda Kingdom. And he came, and he was, that Sarasaja coming was big, pouring, and uniting, and healing factor. Friends of NRM, the party he belonged to, Friends or a friend of the president, he worked for so loyal and legendary for over 12 years, 20 years as an advisor. All these were his friends. And I happen to have come in now as a friend. Later, as I said, around 87. I had seen him briefly in Nairobi. I'm sorry, I'm trying to summarize. Just eight of uh, five before Kampala fell. And then we met and we became friends at Kampala. We played tennis. Nagena was a fantastic sports person. Of course, representing Ugandan cricket. And a fighter. He never wanted to lose any game, any challenge, as those who know him. And we enjoyed competition together, although for me he was 14 years old. But we came closer when suddenly he asked me when he was going to get go to church with Marion that I should be his best man, as you have seen in the books. Which I first resisted because I told him you are 14 years old. Get somebody of your age and let him be your best man. And he said no, in fact I I even gave him an example with the latest one who was his cousin. He says, no, I want you to be my listener. And that showed really true friendship and trust. And we accompanied him to church, and he married his long-term companion, Marion. And therefore, for us to be here and speak on his behalf as friends, we thank you for that honor. And it's you, Marion. I want to talk about Marion. Even before we went to church, we have called each other Marionazi, Marionazi. We are both more or less the same color, and we thought we looked more or less the same. Nagenda was not a very easy person for those who dealt with him. He was strict, he needed order, and Marion has been a complete shock absorber of Nabugenda's energy and zeal. So I want to thank you for all your life. Again, I wanted entertainment. You will welcome us to his house, but you are the hostess and the entertainer with your fantastic dishes and care and so on. But most importantly, thank you for looking after Nagenda. All the years, I, I can't add to us 22 plus, I'm trying to remember the year when we went to church. Uh, it's about that something, you remember the years. I want to thank you. Nagenda was himself. He said it the way he knew it. He wrote it the way he knew it. And he was very straight. Nagenda, throughout these years, had health challenges. A lot of them. In fact, we will say that he's a cat. He's like a cat with so many legs. I think he had about four operations, some of with a bypass, some of with cancer. One of it, he had a pancreas condition, which we thought most people don't survive, and he survived it. And I want to thank Dr. Wanga, whom he always talks about, 
who saved his life. But then again, uh, you hear, would say what he knows and what he wants. One time when he had a, an operation in a, well, South Africa, after the theater, the nurse asked him, he played after the theater when he recovered, the nurse asked him, uh, what would you like to have for a drink? Orange or water? Say, can I have a glass of red wine, please? <laughs> and the doctor who was there said, give him the red wine. Give him the glass of red wine. And he, he took it. And he recovered. <laughs> Part of his recovery process. I hear the church is, I don't know whether they are laughing as Juma or as cynicism, but the church serves wine anyway, as well. So, but that shows you what he was. He didn't pretend. He said it the way he said it. So I want to thank him for his life. I want to thank Marion. I want to thank Frank, their son, for supporting Marion in the, during hospital all, the, all these days. I want to thank Gwenny for standing in to remember that again I was a very close friend of your brother, Elia Katega. You have been with Marion, you have been with Nagen in hospital. I want to thank all our friends here, but more importantly, Ben, who uses his medical knowledge, to check on Nagen almost every week, every Sunday. And I want to give special thanks to Oyen, the former ambassador of Norway to Uganda, who became a friend of Nagen when we were here and we played tennis with him. And when he heard that Nagin had passed up, he rang us weeping. This man is not young, but he was weeping. And he came with his wife, Titi, to bury Nagin and his friend. <laughs> Nagin had this issue of claiming room. He went to visit him. They gave him a room in their house, and he called it Nagin as a room. Dr. Moni built the hospital in Nagasero. He looked at the best room and said, this is Nagenda's room. That's where I'll go if I want to die. He went to hospice. He saw where they had, said, this is Nagenda's room. He even came to my house twice, see me in Paso. And the room he stayed in, he claimed it. So Nagen has many rooms all over the, the world. And that's the kind of friendship he had. So I don't want to waste a lot of time, we don't have much. I was honored and we were all honored to have associated with Nagenda, to have worked with him, to have played with him, to have socialized with him. I want to thank him for all the support he gave the government, especially the president as his advisor, and the sharp articles he wrote to talk about situations in the country. When we knew each other at tennis, I made a Uganda saying, the Otakusasa, Tomsasa, Nyanje Butuopela. And he was shocked that I could even say that in Uganda. But he told me there is another one called Otakurekera, Tomrekera. And for one reason, from that day, we called each other no other name except Otakurekera, Otakurekera. I would ring him and say, how are you Otakurekera? And he would also call me Otakurekera. And the last time I went to see him in hospital in Tessip Care, which is like 10 days or so ago, most of the time I went there, he was sedated. But this time they are going to sedation. And I tried to talk to him and see whether he was listening to me. And eventually I said, Utakrekera, Utakrekera. And I remember it well. I was with Marion there. He sort of opened his eyes and smiled on the face as if he wanted to say something. So, Otakurekera, rest in peace. Thank you very much, Honorable. Uh, I'm going to request Dr. Mbonye to give us an overview of uh, Dr. Sorry, Mr. John Nagenda's um, health in the past few months. Marion and family, the way the Nagi and the family, all the dear mourners with us here today. 
Uh, I don't think I should call it mourning because I think John lived his life in full. And time came when God decided it was time. Uh, talking about John's life concerning his health, uh, I, I, I first met John and uh, associated with him closely, I think in 1987, when we returned from outside. We, as Sangari Monastasia has said, we were quite close, we played games together. But I also got to know about him whenever he fell sick. He, I think the, the very first time when he was still in Mango, had what we call an acute pancreatitis illness. That's one of the most complicated illnesses that actually takes many people's lives. John struggled and got out of it. Then he later on had heart problems and he underwent surgery on his heart. I think that was in London. Then later on he had some other prostate issues, I think. He also went through all that. All these were very advanced and complicated surgeries, treatments. But John survived all that. Recently, uh, his health started deteriorating. He lost appetite. And we started giving him feeds, a supplementary feed. He couldn't take enough food by mouth. So we had to give him a bypass, a tube through the stomach. That's how he was being fed. His respiration also deteriorated and he had to be given a tube in the throat called a tracheostomy tube. He continued to deteriorate and required intensive care. And that's when he was admitted to Medpol Hospital for it, which had good intensive care facilities. Every effort was made and toward the end he started getting problems with his kidneys and he started getting intermittent dialysis to help get rid of some of the fluids and stabilize some of his electrolytes in the body. He's continued, uh, he continued to deteriorate and uh, on Sunday Sunday morning, I think early afternoon, it was Saturday, I think, his health deteriorated. He was in dialysis. I think he was having his dialysis. He had a cardiac arrest. And by around, I think, 1.30 in the afternoon, he was pronounced had passed. But what I can tell you is that John had a very, very strong body very strong to have withstood all those illnesses, all those surgeries, and lived the age of 84 was definitely a huge, a huge achievement, which many people wouldn't have definitely survived. I want to thank Marion, Marion for having, and, and Frank, family, for having been very close to him all that time, giving him all the support that he needed. There's nothing, nothing that he needed that he didn't get. I want to thank the Office of the President through Gwen here. Every time he was admitted during those places, he was supported by the Office of the President. Especially so, the PSN Office of the President, Haji Yunus Kakande, he gave us a lot of personal assistance and personal support. All the medical staff at the medical hospital, they put in every effort they could to save him. What I can tell you as a doctor is nothing that could have been done for him that was not done. So thank you everybody, thank you all for coming and my part I simply wish John uh, a peaceful rest that he deserves.
Thank you. The next speakers, Budonians, please come, led by Mr. Norman Chalita. Budonians, please come and give us, we request you to be as short as your school's name, as brief as that. Budonians, please. My lords, the clergy, members of the British family, several vice president Yaumula, Omulangirawa Sadia, all protocol observed. I'm not Norman Shalita. I'm Dr. Edward Kayondo and I'm standing in for Norman Shalita. I'm a retired president of the Old Budonians Club and that is customary. I will introduce some of these people. Chiti Mbo with us, uh, Mr. Hope Mukasa, Professor Mugambi, uh, Mr. Sewa Gude, a cricketer, Chris Luswata, who was the president after me, Mr. William Kamani, Mulani Golova, Dr. Jagwe, Mutabanwa Dr. Jagwe, but now, Mr. Sekanwaji, uh, Paul Onsibuka, Mr. Bia Kwaso, God is with that Wende. Mr. Nagenda came from a solid Udonian family. If I talk to Mr. Nag I'll talk about Mr. Nagenda. His grandfather, Mr. Eras Tobakaluba, went to Udo 1970 left in 1909 as head prefect and taught at Budo. He was head prefect there. His father was. Most cousins also went to Budo. Mr. Nagenda chose Marion Kalibala as a wife. She's also Budonian, 61 to 72. She was just one year ahead of me. Budo Junior School, Budo family, and so. Now, Mr. Nakenda attended primary school at Namtamba up to P4. He won the primary school. Then his father assumed that the, the headmaster of Bodo, Timothy Ko, would give him a place in the junior school for P5. Timothy Ko disappointed him he, uh, and did not give him a place. So he was taken to Mwiri Primary School. And many times when he was talking, you could feel that at times he liked my Muiri better than he liked Budo. He eventually came back in 1950, uh, having passed the entrance exam, and was put in Canada House. But he had a bit of change, so, and was not doing well in mathematics. So in 1952, uh, the headmaster, Mr. Timothy Cobb, who was called Timothy Chikongoliro, advised, advised Mose to take him as far away from home as possible. So Mr. Nagena was, 1953, was taken to uh, Chigezi High School. Uh, he, 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 he termed it Siberia. You know Siberia is the remotest part of Russia. Uh, those who know, who, who live in the surrounding areas, the Bachika, you know, are straight talking people. And many people think this tell it in your face attitude, which he used to have, he must have picked from Chigese High School. He returned in 1954 and was finished in 1956. Now, who were his classmates? 
He lived in Canada House. All our houses are named after Commonwealth countries. Uh, his classmates included Dr. Jagwe, he's here. Uh, Professor Kayanja, Dr. Jagwe was medical superintendent of Mulago. Professor Kayanja, who was vice chancellor of Mbarara University. Dr. Edward Kakonge, who was the minister early on in the, uh, Mr. Senabria, who was an aide to Chiseka, to President, Vice President Chiseka, to Semazi, who used to work in BAT, to, uh, uh, to, to Professor Motibua, uh, to Nyonyi Tono Chikonyogo, who was, who was governor several times here and abroad, and many others. Uh, when you go to Budo, you will invariably take your children to Bodo, and his father too, Stephen, and I believe William, and Tendo. Now, many people fight to get into Bodo. Last time we got 10,000 applications for race one, and they could only take 400. Why do you want to come to Bodo? Many of you are misplaced. You think you will get A's and B's and go to LF and get to Makerere on government sponsorship. But that's not the reason why we go to Budo. We go to Budo for character training, integrity. I've been doing research about people who have stolen money over the last six, 36 years. There was no Budonian until recently. <laughs> That is what is known as Omugongo Webu Do. That's what you should strive to. So on behalf of the Buddha Fraternity, we bring our condolences to the brief Nyabo, uh, so our Moko, uh, Marion, Katonda Pugumie. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The next to speak will be the cricketers, led by Mr. Samuel C.B. Cricketers, led by Mr. Samuel C.B. I'm sure you are not looking for a bowler. Uh, you can start. They called me on this, which is still confusing me a bit. Um, uh, our leaders in God, uh, the widow and family of the late uh, John Nagenda, your excellencies, distinguished guests, in your various capacities, fellow mourners, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. My name is Chris Luswata, and um, I have the privilege and the honor of saying a few words on behalf of the cricket fraternity, to which John was an outstanding member for a long and illustrious period. In the world of cricket in Uganda, when a player attains the age of 40 years, or a waist size of 40 inches, they earn the title of a Mugurusi, or an elder. John was, an, was a Mugurusi of the highest order, and we are here to mourn and celebrate his life. I'm going to read um, a tribute by another senior Mugurusi, Sam Soagute, who shared a long history with John and had a lot of insights in uh, cricket's, John's cricket uh, career. John was a great cricketer and a fighter in every situation. I was his protege and I'm pleased to salute him and celebrate his outstanding career. I played under him in the early 50s 
when he was captain of Canada House at King's College, Puerto, where he followed in his footsteps as captain. In 1956, when he went on to captain the school 11, where I also played for him, I, I eventually also became a captain when he left. In the late 50s and early 60s, I again played under him at Macquarie University in New Hall, which is now Kuruma Hall. He later became the captain of the university, where again I played under him and followed, his, followed him as the captain when he left. John was one of the first indigenous cricketers to play for Uganda with Sam Ichizito and Sam Maurice Mbi in the 1960s. This was following the footsteps of the great Prince George Mawanda, who had led the had, had led the way for native cricket in Uganda. Qualifications, he was also the captain of the Africa Cricket Club, which was the indigenous cricket club that was formed, um, which was formed um, uh, to, to promote African cricket in Uganda. Uh, this club nurtured many of our talents and set us up for managing the game in the 70s, especially after the Asians and the Europeans left. In the early 70s, when we, when we were rebuilding cricket after the departure of the Asians, John was based in the UK, but he used to fly to join the new national team in its infancy, whenever especially we were playing international games regionally and regionally. Um, um, he did all this at his own expense. During the 1970s, he was also notably selected with Samo Lissimbi to represent East Africa in the Cricket World Cup. Um, uh, during this time, at the ripe old age of 37, he was still reckoned to be the fastest bowler in East Africa. Um, John, in the 19, during the 1970s, as mentioned, spent a lot of his time in the UK, where he also played club cricket. He was a member of the Nomads Cricket Club, uh, to which he was also the vice chairman for almost 40 years. John was known for his great stamina and competitiveness, especially as a bowler. He was also known to live quite large, because he used to even take beer during the water breaks. In the 1980s, um, John returned to Uganda, and um, um, when he returned, he rejoined the national team. In fact, he actually kind of came out of the bush in 1985 to join the team in Nairobi uh, to play the Eastern, Eastern Central Aqua Granulars in Zambia. He later became the captain of the team in 1986 and in 1987. He retired in 1988 at the ripe old age of 50 after quite a, a great career that had spanned quite a long period. John was always um, a, good, a very invaluable member of the team and he was an outstanding leader. His uh, leadership style is still an, an record as um, John never wanted to, to lose any arguments. Those who played under him really remember his um, management style very well. John retired. After he retired, John continued to support cricket in various ways. He was a great ambassador of the game and in various ways. When he was the chairman of the Ghana Cricket Association, he put his weight behind the refurbishment of cricket facilities, for example, in Chambo. He also raised sponsorship and the profile of the game while he was on, on the board PAT. He was at the forefront of a delegation that went to the UK and secured membership and funding for Uganda cricket in the International Cricket Conference. We would like to extend our heartfelt condolences to Marion and to the family and to our dear Mugurusi, fare thee well till we meet again. Thank you. 
um, I would like to, we have some of the book, and we are going to pass it on to Marie. Thank you. Thank you very much, Budonians. Sorry, cricketers. Now, um, anytime now, the chief mourner arrives. But uh, as we wait her arrival, I will call on Namtamba community, which includes the T estate, to come and give us and share with us in very in a few words. I Namtamba community. Nanabati estate, Mumbagende de Muje Mitembu and Gukwanga Babana Wao Slotia Mue Ejagenda, Prime Minister Wana Tukanga Temunava Kogera, Tetujaku Damu Baita, Mujatu Sonyua, Mujakwanga Omuksamugua Deu. Mario Nakin, Roku Jan Java, 
ukwagala wamu no kulagira amakuru tonda kenda oko ekugata ne government abenganda na wamu ne bonna abamu beredde omusere ekyo ngalumizwa kama we mujja abadizewo abafude namtamba mwe bale sala ze mutatemu banga lino lyonna we bale tusaba joni abadde muwabuzi mwe simbu ele chokula da kechene atenga chirungi ele abatona abakuru kale fe abena mutamba tuline banja deni okukuma no kutwala maasi ebyo yati giliza obaka bonji utekedwa forum ye namtamba ya mariya ne family kusaba mbukiri mukuru joni mumura mirembe aba family mukama abagumye abawamba atire kendereza mukama yebazwe Zakuri abiri musatu mutandi kano soka kubaba na bina mutamba dr christine mbwanya adama nama kuko kubaweleza kubatuzisa Uh, kakati ngenda kwa saba Tusoke tuimilile mkatono Tuanilize Omkungu bazi wa fe uh, Prime Minister Atuse Tuimilile Mwana atuka Tuja kuimbe chitikwa Sorry, tuja kuimba national anthem Then tuke tukende maso Ne program Saba minister wa Uganda atuse Nja kusaba Batu gambe bitundu ya natu yimbe Nga na yolo kubatuli mkufirwa Tuja kuimba ke chitundu chimwe chisoka Echa anthem Tugende maso nga wetu wade tutambula Yemisikate Tuja kubula nyonyola
nyabo saba minister kwaniriza wakati mkunyolwa tusanyisa kubango tusobodde okujja otusanze tutambudde ko era titujja kuluisa tujja kugenda maso na inga tujja kunyonyola byetu isemu kakati nga tugenda okuita our new vision ajayo gede kubanga mwami nagenda abadde awandika article buli sande mu mauli lago abadde editor wa uh, article yo agenda kuba ke bigambo byatuwa na dendo za twina malizo kuogera bina na abantu sena e <coughs> ewo na tuzi twite mbufunze sebo let's be brief I stand here to represent the CEO Don Wanyama and the head in chief Barbara Kaija they have sent me to deliver a message. It is a sad day, sad because we have lost a man who was part of New Vision. He was there when the New Vision, which has since grown into a multimedia media house, he was known to our earlier editors, Mr. William Pike and James Tumsime. They knew each other from the National Resistance Army Bush War in Luero. He was there when the newspaper expanded and started online, the radio, the TV, and the other media platforms. He was there at every moment of growth of new vision Either as a friend to our top bosses, the senior presidential advisor on media and public relations, or as a columnist. Through his column, one man's week, initially published in Sunday Vision, and later shifted to Saturday Vision, he engaged with our readers. The readers loved his wit and boldness. Even those who didn't agree with him politically read the column. He attacked all the wrongdoers in the government and in opposition equally. He played around with the words to make interesting reading his column. This we shall miss, and so will our readers. Writing from the 1990s, he was consistent and regularly wrote his column without missing. On very few occasions when he was off for medical checkup, we inserted a note on the page that will be back next week. Nagenda column returns next week. And he would call to say, please insert that, to say Nagenda column returns next week. And we did that religiously. And surely he would be back at his best. We are duty bound to inform the readers of his absence because he had a life dedicated following who would ask why he has not written. So we get calls from US, from UK, because his article was syndicated. Sometimes the guys in UK would also read. So he was a very popular columnist. We published his last article on December 25, 2021, in which he lashed out at the land grabbers. The following week, we learned he was unwell. And beautifully, we informed our readers that he would return, but he didn't. Days turned in two weeks and months, we got concerned. The readers wanted to know whether we had stopped publishing his articles because of his criticisms. Because sometimes he criticizes even the government. 
and also the mist is English, which is creatively applied. So we, we kept hoping he would get back and we informed the readers that he was taking a rest and he would be back. Later we learned from the family that with his failing health, he was unable to write. He treated us to read books, appreciate our history, and carry on with the journalism work. We still thought he would pull through, and some of us started imagining how we would write about his brush with death when he gets back on his feet. Sadly, he didn't make it. We shall forever remember John Nakenda and his contribution to journalism. He respected deadlines. We have very strict deadlines. And he delivered his articles on time. The word count we gave him was exactly 800 words. And he never missed by a word. And we would put it and count. It was 800. For such a disciplined writer. He was aware of the human uh, errors. Of course, sometimes when he sent his article and he noticed maybe there was an error, he would call and he said, please, correct me. And you would not correct his article without consulting him, even when you notice an error. So we had a lot of consultation. He never failed to call for a just society in his articles. Even when conflicted with the powers that were, he wrote what he believed in using excellent English, broad sentence construction, and engaging style without missing words. Sometimes I would even reach out to a dictionary because I'm the one who edited this for the last so many years. I've been editing this article. But there were words he would throw in there, and I would have to look for a dictionary. So that was not good. Big or a small fish didn't scare him. Those who crossed his integrity standard took a beating in his article. But those who conformed to his expectations went with his praise. He was careful with his writing that in the history of his writing, we only had one life or case. And that case is still on. It was brought by a former cabinet minister. And uh, a few months ago, they tried to attach his building. I hope that person will now, in death, be honest enough and see how to resolve the matter. Because they tried to attach Nagenda's building. A few years ago, the Vision Group permitted him to compile his articles into a book in appreciation of his contribution. Following his death, we have dug out from the archives his account of life, which he told in an interview that was broadcast by Bukede TV on July 10, 2015. And we have translated into English. We started the three-part series today in the new vision, and we will end on Thursday. Vision Group has contributed 2 million shillings towards the United May so rest in the panel. The next to speak. Thank you very much, New Vision. Uh, Abalangira Abemamba, Ngabakule Berwa Luazo, Munje Mukole Mikolo Jamwe, Mikolo Jafe, Noktua Ebi Gambe Vitono. Jakongiro kuvega ida tuogele viga mbovi tono tono. Esa wazi tukute mbovi nyo nyo nyo. Nyo.
kusiri kila kuna kwa na kubali la kuda chika za mwe Sabi stopi Omurangi na basta ya Vice President of Australia, ya Omura. Mungu wazi wana fumina. Sanyoka, kukulema. Na ye, sanyoka kukulema. Nimilite wano, ulinyangwa, ya wano, Samasu kumchala kwe Urenzo kati ya vati umbio na Yetu alilo Nukuja nipo kukezo Wakati fwa vechika Katungilu kuiba zika Na muandu kakati Nyabu Kuiba le nyo Ukula vili ya vangani ofuono Atitata ofuono Fengechika Kukenda kula Nekule vili 
Omkuru kumu, omkuru we wachiru, agendo kujoba sune roba kufude wachiru. Nechi nadako, we kuteko urubo, u Uganda wa fono, atufude kumaso. Asabe, aldo waka wachiru, ajabo kwa wakiru. Ah, my bad, in your and another media is open time before you. Service at Yakabaka, Now, the children of uh, the late John Nagenda, led by Frank, please come and eulogize your dear dad. Frank and siblings, please come.
talk to us. The Right Honourable Prime Minister representing His Excellency, all protocol observed. My name is Frank P. Sachin Naganda, first child of the late John Naganda, son to Marion Kalibala Naganda, nephew to Ruth Naganda, his sister, Uncle Stephen Naganda, the brother. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for making the time to come. The earliest memory I had of my father was the mango where he raised me, the first, the first born. My grandfather, William Agenda's house, first main re residency near Kampala. He told me a story about my grandpapa, William, introducing him to Christianity, John. <laughs> His dad even disobeyed and talked back to his father, which I would advise you don't do in those days. <laughs> Grandpapa gathered his church, elders from the UK and all abroad, <laughs> that he would, you know, go and preach with Hopefully, he introduced he introduced church uh, he introduced the church and religion to Uganda, uh, and dearly he's going to be missed. His legacy is going to live within his children. The stories that we tell, how he was loved, how we loved because of him. He taught us everything. We are all his children. We all, we're all his, his family, whether blood related or not, that's the effect it had on each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So going back to the Christianity where he disobeyed, dad told me that the pastor from UK or I think somewhere in Europe at the time came down to Uganda to consult that. Okay, boy, what is your faith like? And Dad looked him straight in the eye and said, uh, reluctantly, it's, it's questionable. Sorry, it's questionable. And then the pastor replied, why? Why? And Dad looked back and said, and my friends go. And the pastor was very, the elder was very confused. He was like, uh, what do you mean, son? What about the non-believers, my dad would say? What about the Muslims? What about all the other religions? Will they go to heaven? And, and the pastor replied, I'm sorry, son. Not non-believer if you do not believe in christ you cannot go to heaven and that's when my dad said thank you this is not the religion for me and i <laughs> looking back on that story that he told me everything he says everything we say about him being a man of his word and a man of what he believes in to be the right thing he will follow it he will show you that he loves you not through words with some actions. Me and my sisters, we are gonna love him. We're gonna miss him dearly. He's gonna be in our dreams. He's gonna be in our hearts. <laughs> He's gonna be missed dearly because he taught us how to love. He taught us how to accept love. How to give love. And mom too. 
He taught us how to walk, read. Mom's the one that gave us the nurturing. Dad was the one that gave us the, <laughs> the wisdom. The wisdom we all know that he carries within all of us. I'm so grateful to have this man as my father. I am honored to have John, Robin, Wesleyboa, Nagenda as my dad. The love he had for his country goes beyond unity. He wanted a united Uganda. That's what he wanted. And seeing this right now, I believe we're on our path from there. His dream has come true through each and every one of us. Thank you all. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Kakati katuulize obubaka obusome atifunaba kuuliza obubaka bwa mama Bakungu bazimwina protocol yo kuzabinze Roa kwa ati bisera bitambo de ngenda kufunza yakalo kwetu ndera mwina yo naje muri cho obubaka kwa mwebo na kwa atuse na yolo isoka ebisera Ebili mdite uze singo mungi Marion Jakubanga as Tulamu Uganda Wildlife Authority The family of the late John Nagenda Kampala Condolence message Basa side nyo Family of the late John Nagenda Era Nibatora Mabukomangi Nibagamba Sam Mwanda Executive Director ya tadeko mukono kuluba kabuno obwezeza e million ya sente namba thank you so much Uganda Wildlife Authority namtamba tea estate and dairy farm abakozi bonna bakola kunamtamba tea and dairy farm abakulembe do chiamani wawe na obasa sitenyo mario de famile yona bagamba twanyole twanyo olokuvao kwa mkate wawe, mkama wawe Nipa kwa asa katunda Averega mbala mzajisa Honobo Nita muna nyakutja Eko Uganda Limited Eko Uganda Limited Bawa niki de Marion Ne familie yoyo na Nipa kusasi la nyo, nyo, nyo Uroku firwa, kwa nogo Menta Atela umami wo Eba gamba nti Soma echitundu mbaibuli Mo Philippines 4-7 Wechi gamba nti May the peace of God Which surpasses all understanding Guard your hearts and minds Through Christ Jesus Eba musa eba gamba nti Amina Awono Godfrey Sewaniko Managing Director Wa Eko Hotel Uganda Limited Ya tante kongu kono Family, abana we namtamba, bawaandi kiti Mario Nagenda, bawaandi kwa family ya John Nagenda, bawaandi kwa siblings ya John Nagenda, aratu zemeru pebuloba, bonda bonda, leba gani ya Ruth, Stephen, Mario and family, baku sa sidi nyu nyu nyu, muno no muri mo, abana namtamba SS, Edward yule namtamba Health Center three. Mazdi Sos, Nepolis Post ye na mtamba, na huko ye waliku no, Museum, Neta kali na mtamba, Chokana kabuka kana mtamba Trading Center, Onabo na bakungani doho, Nipa janechi wandi kuchimu, Nipa kusasira, Nipa saba katonda, Omoyo kwa mkenzi, Muka magumo ze mirembe, Wanono, Nipa ganti John, Umo la mirembe, Atate kwa mkono, Ye Dr. Christina, Mugwanya, Kadama, Uruwabana, Benna Mutamba, Elaba Nesa Mahugo, Emi wendo do jiruwevi, Kaso, Emi enda ba, Walu emi tuwa lukumi neta, Lumoye kuminya, Nwabao emi tuwa lavidi, Moye kuminya, Zika kasati za atu se, Tuya nzaje vannangi, Mwenda ba, Ana Benna Mutamba, Atila kwa wali yukuta wano, Nekuta mtu soba kwa wa mwe, Mtore za na mutamba, Awana, Abanya Rwanda, Abenna Mutamba, Na baba wa wida wa kama uli kufa kwa jona genda. Nibana kuwala. 
nebasasira ero baka bwalo nabo tatte wamu nebaganti anko John abadde mukadde wa fefe nabanya Rwanda naba nalabonna nebatoro lubugula bitwaro amakumi anamwena eza sete okubanti zia bakunze katega yokuzika Fabian Kai Kairu sentere wa Jaimani atene Sam Lukasi secretary nebasake mikono wa balala onda Honorable Francis Moebesa, Minister, Minister of Trade, Industries and Cooperatives. He has sent his condolences to his long-time friend, but also a colleague, and uh, he's seated right next to the Prime Minister. And his condolence is one million shillings, which is already which he has already delivered. Honorable Mwebesa, thank you so much for your JC, your long-time friend, but also a colleague, and indeed, Tukusasira Honorable, Yesebo. Teyanzi Sanyo, Teyanzi Ege. Mbakantai Credit Bank Limited, Banon Novali Waliku Road 8, Old Portugal Road. Na huwa aulite okufoka John Nagenda, nena nima wangi kila barrio, nima kusasira nyo. Nima gama antikuma, katonda agaba itedi, Plot 8, Old Campal, Old Port Bell Road, Yatande Kompono. British American Tobacco, over PAT Uganda, Bawani Kide Family Youngest John, Nagenda, Gabasa Asira, Orokwanti, John, Yawumode. Boga, our British American Tobacco, Basa Asite, Kanumuzikiri Zeka Sobe. Mr. Nagela was a, was a non-executive director of British American Tobacco, Uganda Limited, for over two decades. Having been appointed to the board in 1987, he served on several committees of the board and openly provided wide counsel and ideas to grow the company. That is why they are also joining us to Rojais, the late John Nagela. Thank you so much, British Air, British African Tobacco. Matthew. Kainjuri, Managing Director, Sain. I'm about to finish, Sebo. All the Budonians Club, they came here and sent in the Uruguay's Black Gender, but they also have a written condolence here, which was signed by Jimmy Rogers Katende, the President of Old Budonians Club. Thank you so much, Old Budonians Club. And uh, we also have Mercantile Properties Limited. Mrs. Marion Kalipara, Nagenda, our Congress message. They say, please find a closed one million Uganda shillings to help you bury the lead. Dorothy, Mrs. Dorothy Moela, Managing Director of Mercantile Properties Limited. Mohammed Chanda Salongo, Kawempe, Mulangira. Gono yewo yewo mtu mo mtu ukwacha fari ikawe mpe aksasi denyo muzikuruwe na kama chakula nje chokfiwa mchavaniwe John Nagenda ulokuwa mtu mukosefu tasobode kujia na Yesu na imani muri nde weda wali agambi nchi kai bidhewo kuruwe akwasi zaka chonda akubumiye. Nangu mwangi. Njagala, hii, nyi zukutata. Njagala okuweba za Gwen. Njagala okuweba za Mwami Wasula. Njagala okuweba za Dr. Ambonye. Nalabiyo tutesa higieno. Njagala okuweba za Vandadini. Njagala okuweba za Basebo. Neba Sebo. Neba Nyabo. Mwina. Abako zeche musobola ukulaba anti. Omula angirono. Omula mbube lao. Neka tonda. Ea mutu wa. Asazeo amtuari. Tuye nzo kutaka na ligambo Bia kikuwa asa ganye wamu Obabi matiza kuweba za Na yetu simi enyo Simi dedala Mama Prime Minister Njagalo zizitu resoso kugiranga kwa adresi Ndoza na kuwele kira Kwa uwe mkisa kwe mfunye Na yaga na toku jamuri Na yetu na inga temele Na yaga kati ndoza jamu kuwele kira Na yetu na familie Kwa agaro kusaba, otutu sizo uvaka, eh, his excellency, the president of the republic of Uganda.
Naba ntubo nabu nabu na Baba datuma Okujo kuraba mbusajja we ono Aja ajabibwa We really appreciate Banda nge baganda bangene banyi na zetu kwe mungaliza amanyi Beba ze president musebeni Uroku janja mbusajja we ono No mbunangira Mbunangira wa mtuma Jangu mbunangira wa mtuma Jangu mbunangira wa mtuma Jangu mbunangira wa mtuma Jangu mbunangira wa mtuma Jamulubiri ni tuoge ni vya fedha wala angira sawa sanya kwa kwa wangali Matthew Richikai Aje Ameko Kubaka buatua Sela china jizu tenyo
And when they are in a conversation with John Nagenda, they get amazed about the comprehension of the language, which he commanded better than the English people themselves, both in the proverbs, in the pronunciation, in accent. So he was that good in the mastery of the English language. They have told you, his friends here, about his great sportive or sporting skills in cricket, in tennis, and many others. I briefly knew him at King's College, Budo, or he left just slightly before me. And Warusiyebi, uh, who was a great cricketer who stood here, came to remind me that I should have come to stand here as an old Budonian, which I didn't, but I was taking care of my sister there, Marion. I didn't want to leave her alone. But I was at King's College Budo, a prized famous school, and I was the honor to have been the head prefect of King's College Budo at that time, and to have received both obedience and love from the community of King's College Buddha. John was totally detribalized. By that I mean, even though he was a typical, traditional Muganda, he didn't have boundaries about his association with the tribes and races around the world. That's why you see many of the friends who have been with him for life have not necessarily been Baganda. You've seen John Nasasa here, who was his best man. You have heard about to uh, Katia Gaya, who was one of our highest stalwarts in the movement, who was so close to him. You've heard about his closeness President Museveni, and indeed the support he has rendered through the years for the movement. So John was special, special in several ways. His greatest, or one of his greatest friends, was Ben Mukapa, who later on became president of Tanzania. They were there at the same time, I was Makerere, where also became the president of the student skill. Then Mukapa and John Nagenda were inseparable. And both of them had command of English, which was almost at the same level. And whenever Mukapa came to Uganda, even when he stopped being president, the person he went to see and probably stayed with was already John Nagena. This was the extent of John Nagena's association. And it was marvelous and wonderful. Finally, I want to thank Marion, my sister, which has been explained by everybody here. The extent of the care she rendered throughout the illness of John Lagenda. Thank you very, very much, Marion, for that care which has been explained by many friends, and uh, I am sure that God will bless you for a long time, you know, for the years that you still have left for the services that you have rendered to John. And no peace. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Honorable uh, Chikahiri. Actually, he has jogged my memory. In 1980, after the 19, December 1980 elections, the UPM president, presidential candidate, told us in our UPM office. I was a youth winger in UPM. 
uh, he told us, throughout the campaigns, I told you people, these elections are going to be rigged. And they have been rigged. As I promised, all of you who want to follow me, go to Machi India. Machi India, he meant Mr. Richie Kaire's home. <laughs> and uh, I feared to go, perhaps I would be a general now. <laughs> the next speaker are the siblings of uh, Mr. John Nagenda. So please come and uh, come and talk to us, please. Time is really, really bad. Uh, we have mismanaged time this time. I don't know what has gone wrong. Thank you very much. The government of Uganda in the ministry we got to be the same. The money we are charging is too much for us. Zinio, from the local to the national, the chickens, speeches, baby, to on the key, we go get up now. I take to work here, John, Nagenda. Temutia, Temutia. We will be able to say the same. Yes, sir. Prime Minister 
no mukuru prime minister ya kuogera ni nani wako kabu wa Uganda ndoza mugumeko wa jabo ni wasibu mugumeko kabulo wote wa bwadde yo tukuvile mungalo kusala wopo okuruje ennyo tuyanze nyo tuyanze ege i want to invite ambassador queen to come ambassador queen please come and you reja is nagenda you can hear we are saying that time is against us but you can come and please as as is coming here i want to recognize the presence of general katumba wabala thank you so much for coming to your jays the late nagenda is the minister of trans is a minister for transport thank you so much for coming sebo again once again i want to recognize the former vice president of uganda his excellency edward chiwanuka sekandi all the way from buddu iranja galokusa sira vice president ya umura munange mwana ba tabe busiro thank you so much honorable excellency for coming again we're waiting for the honorable minister to come uganda federal services please ambassador gwen is the one coming to eulogize gwen is the one coming to eulogize the late oyen yes thank you so much thank you so much for that clarity banangi sibyangu nsaba uganda federal services otweka intro dawo katono nyo ga wajja wabanga taliwo tusobolo kenda maso kansabe kansabe mukuru wange ampa bulao katus kire tujja kumuleta mu kisera kino kansabe marion nagenda oje otusobwa kabwo wanabaze ambasada kakasa tujja kumwaida chi katusobolo kwanje bisera bino tubifunza Rachel Mario Nagenda usaba oje otuse obubaka bwo oh Mario nteka teka 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 o Mario weteke teke kubono una si otusasire no faba tembete mikono byetu sanga no ito ne bibawo ebitu naye katonda jja kutubera well thank you very much uh, and it's a great privilege for my wife and I to be here today. Although it is a very sad occasion, I will be very brief. I have served in Africa for 40 years, so I know what brief speeches are all about. So don't worry. I just want to add in the spirit of John a small piece of information on this room he had in our house. Of course, when I served here as ambassador, I understood how the hierarchy was working. And of course, we could never give a house, no give a room to John without proper uh, authorization from high, a higher authority. So two years before he came, we had a visit from the then Honorable Minister for the Affairs, and he had heard about this house that we were uh, putting up. It was in the winter, minus 15 degrees, snowing, and the wind was blowing. A little bit different from what we have here today. So we took area to the place. The house at the time was just a skeleton. So we moved through the snow, and he looked at us with a little bit of let's say, uh, uncertainness, uncertainness. And when we finally came, came to the corner with the snow up to our knees, and we said, this is going to be Nagenda's room. And Elia looked, and he turned around us, and he said, okay, he can have it. So then I felt that we didn't take any risk. Uh, it was authorized by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Well, my last thing I want to say, uh, this was to tell you the, how close friends we were. Uh, but what I really feel today, and having listened to all the speeches, and thank you again, again for being 
recognized as a friend of John. Uh, what we admired, and I admired uh, him for from the very beginning, we met in 1996 when I came here as ambassador, was his uh, frankness uh, and the way he always told us the truth. And he said, he told us, and he wrote, of course, what he believed was the truth. And of course, he could, as it has been said here, be, uh, he could criticize certain people uh, at certain times. But what I noted was that his love and his loyalty uh, and his admiration for his own country was never a question. He was totally devoted to the future for his own country. So with these words and to Marion, Frank and the rest of the family, thank you again for inviting us here today. Thank you. Thank you so much Ambassador. We really appreciate Kati Jagaluk Saba Marion to Kosaka Kisakano. Now J or to say Ovakabo. Gamario ni wajja. Abaye gana tennis association e gogo tennis complex. Gaba kule medwa Mathias na Lianya chairman wawe na wawereza mabuko gamitwaro. Makumi ya abili gato se. Tuyanza nyo tuyanza ege. Era mungeri yemu avuge moto ka UAZ mukaga mukaga nyabi. Ojipaki nze maso ke moto ka egendo tuyambako kutwara. Omgenzi, uh, jetuke ndo kumuzika Nocho na njini moto keno Mkusaba jango, jijurule Tusubulo kupanga tufune kubo Elituwaro omgenzi, nia zanyo
was my friend, was my critic, was my advisor, was the father of my children. He never lied to me. He always told me the truth, the bitter truth. And I grew to appreciate him because there's nothing worse than not knowing where you stand with people. His life enriched me beyond borders. He made friends for us, friends for life. Everything has been said how international he was, but I want to mention a few friends that became family. President Mukapa and his wife Anna and children became family. Tanzania became our second home, where we would always go every year for holidays around August. And when they could, they would come and stay in our humble home. He met other friends too, that became family. The late Elia family. I have Gwenny here standing beside me. She called him Tata and me Mama. She humbled us. She loved us. She took care of us. She was our guardian angel. She prompted the president's office to always honor the word of his excellent and careful my husband through all his illnesses. They've supported us. They've cared for us. We never lacked. We are eternally grateful to the <coughs> Office of the President, to Haji, who she always talked about. Whenever we called and we had a problem, she said, no, 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 I'll rush to Haji Kakande. Haji Kakande will be there. I thank Haji Kakande. I thank the Office of the President and all the colleagues. John's friend, thank you for loving him, words and all. We know how difficult John could be. You didn't care whether he offended you today. He was your friend tomorrow. You stood by him. You cared for us. We could count on you. We thank you and we are grateful. The relatives, his family, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for welcoming me to your, into your family, for accepting me and my family. God bless you all. The lifelong friends that became family are many, but in the interest of time, I will then measure the family. The Sassas, the Amonians, the Lechikonagos, and many others. Please forgive me for not listing all of you, because the list is endless. Ambassador Oyen, we wept together when we heard the news that John had passed. Not only did we weep with your family, you took the trouble to travel and get here in time. Thank you, Ambassador Oyen. Thank you, Titi. Thank you for everything you always done for us. The colleagues, John Nagena, he respected you, he loved you, he had no tribal tenants. Everyone was welcome in our home. It didn't matter where you came from. As long as you were true, true to your beliefs, true with integrity, you have a welcoming hand in our home. <coughs> yes. 
extends our gratitude to the medical team and did all they could to help and save John. To today, I can't believe he's gone. He fought so many battles. He was always in and out of critical emergencies. But we made it home. So the past one month, we spent that month preparing a special room for him to come to this week. The doctor assured us that he was well enough to be discharged to go for home care. That he could recover slowly in his home environment. A shock that instead of that happening, he came home in a box. We are still trying to process this. But despite all that, we will give testimony to the love and give tribute to the kindness and goodness of God in John and our life. We must thank the government for caring for John, for not letting us worry. All we worried about was his recovery. We never worried about the bills. Thank you. Thank you. Even now, with this send off on his final journey, you taken all the responsibility you've given us a soft landing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right Honorable Prime Minister, please convey my deep, deep gratitude to His Excellency for the love and from my family, me and We, John, admired him. We loved him and admired him on a personal level. The president, whenever he talked to John Paul, he said, Muzeina Gena. Muzeina Gena, how are you, Muzeina Gena? Muzeina Gena, I'm speaking for him. He's dying here, but I know in heaven, he's smiling down. Thank we thank the Kawaka representative for honoring John who would greatly love to Kawaka. Thank you, Prince Asa. I want to read something from my heart. It's in the condolences. It reads like this. To my friends, husband and father of our children, we never said goodbye. We were gone before I knew it. And only God knew why. A million times I cried. If love alone would have said, we never would have died. In life, I and the children loved you dearly. In death, we love you still. And I testify to the goodness and love of God in our lives. He has sustained us and we take care of people. Even though my heart is breaking, God loves us and chose the best for you. You always love us. Rest in peace. My husband, my friend. Mama Marion Mukama Pugumie, she said that she gave her such a good act. Jaga lukwalo mukusabuno, mukusaba, umlangi la wasajja, azemli nia yuwa kabaka wa Buganda, atutuse ko ubaka. Watu sinze nyo aibene Tua kumye bubi Sajao nase
kwa saje kwa kwa Uganda na wangari kwa tusinze kwa kubi hubi kwa mzika uh, onwezi songa yevi sera ngeenda kusawa jeno katumba wambala kiliza sividi ya nyalagiri woku jeno kwa zisenda jika hili zoka oite prime minister sifu mkade wange atu sofu wakabwe tukende tuwekele omugenzi tuyanzi zenyo Basabo wakande wafe Rekanisa Mama na muandu na habana Na habi chikamwe na Chitalu Chitalu cha joni Haba mtu wa detu nyumiwa nyokoro mweyo ya new vision Nyeraidi matu nyumujuko kidomu juu kiliranga Nguwa mtu wa wandi kuruzungu uwe njini urutu Chalamu chetutuwa kumusu wako Kumusungu uwe njini Kulutufu Ya lusoma busomi Na hindo za luku kukamu Na manyani pibadu wandika Elabu wangu Wetu wanga tuwa ya gano kufuna Atika kanyuma Atuenza kuburua Ulema kusoma kwa atuko ya John Mkama Mwe tumulete mirembe Yonawe ya mkutuwa zizokola Mkama abisime Mkama tumie chitono nyo Kuita Prime Minister Mama Prime Minister, jangwa tuso ubaka, ububo, ahatino kwa mkama wafi. Mweba linyo, mweba lindala, John, mkama akumu ze mirembe, mweba linyo, yunari wa konsumansi. Prime Minister Soke Atekeko Echimuli Noru Vanyuma Atuse Uwaka Kwa President Ida wetuongira Kweba Gumikiriza Yanziza nyuma wa Prime Minister Ukukiriza Kujia kumbu wakira wa muna fe Ya tuwelekera OHT wa John Na genda The head of the diplomatic corps, the retired vice president, who is now a special envoy to the president, traditional leaders, members of parliament, the family of the late John Nagenda, the widow, Mama Marion, ladies and gentlemen, when I was in the car coming here, the president called and told me, uh, though I had got his written speech, which I will hand over to you, ma'am, he called and told me uh, to speak and say these words. So let me stop, write. And I stopped and I wrote the following words. And I want the press to take these words as the actual words from the head of state. Yabi ogede munuganda. Ayena nama yabi ogede munuganda. Yangambie nagenda. Yari muna Uganda dara. Ya deyalina kakwate ne mbengu. Abamu bagenda mbiobu wangwa. Nebeira vila Uganda e ya wamu. 
ya de aina connections ne mengo era ne kaba kamuti era ye musali enyo era yali rutindo olwaga ta president museveni era ye yalete kiteso okwaniriza kabaka wa buganda oga koma uwa no muuganda Era ye songa ajanja biye se nagenda John okuvira dala 2:10 okugenda eranda okumujanja mu IHK ne mmendo Paul era ye yaragide office ya president okulaba bino byo nabye mulaba wano sija kubimenya okutabikira dala mu kuteka teka ngabwe mu bimanyi ebyenna kuzi katika asome speech ye nenga sina kisoma njagala mukirize ya dibino byo nabi koza game kano kake ngaye ampadde emilioni 10 nziba kwasi aba kwatagana ku bino esente za president ya dibino byo nabi koza game nedda kano kana mwanu atandikira kubanga amanyi byo itamu akati na fem office ya ya prime minister mukwano kwana genda enyo abadde ps mwakalizi tali wumu wadde ali bwero na ye yanyambe waki mwewolele mbaweleze sente milioni yenu mukwano kwenda bochiwira ba minister ba office ya Prime Minister bekunganiza milioni 2 na ange ndeteka ko milioni 2 za milioni 5 na zoto wanga na tusikwase mama Maria katika asome message ye baba de bawadi ki de president eri baba de ye ya kumutima angami eno yange ya kumutima nebo ngambo jidda munjidda kakati eno ye message yo wa president to the family of the late Muzei John Nagenda. I received with sadness the news of the death of Muzei John Nagenda. I wish on behalf of the government of Uganda, on my behalf, and the NRM party to convey my heartfelt and sincere condolences to the family upon the loss of a dear father and grandfather. John Nakenda was not only a good writer, but also a patriotic director. He used his influence and knowledge of society to inform and educate the public through his skillful writing his writing was motivated by a sincere love for uganda and africa many people get so much attached to their cultural institutions and forget national unity muzaina genda was not the that type as he stood for a united uganda which made him a true Ugandan. He advised me to return Ronald Mwenda Mutebi as a Kabaka of Uganda. His perspective on national and global issues was always informed and truthful. He will be missed by the media fraternity and all people who followed his informative columns in the newspapers my thoughts are with the family and i pray that god gives you the fortitude and the courage to go through uh, this moment i ask that you celebrate his life and dwell on his wonderful achievements which have touched 
and transformed the lives of many people. Through, though his early life has come to an end, I add you to carry on his great work and in the path of his exemplary legacy. <laughs> May the soul of Ndei Naginda rest in peace. You are Kabuta Seven, President of the Republic of Uganda. <laughs> Thank you so much, Right Honorable Prime Minister. Thank you, thank you. Without wasting any more minute, please, now we go back to the church. Thank you so much. Abawade omukolo guno ekitibwa naze mangu nyo kumakia na e nasoso kutia bungi bwentebe era ningamba banaba banatula wanu nane ka kano buli wentu nulanda ba muli mu ntebe era mu mujuza bungi no rwecho muwade nyo ekitibwa muganda wa phone omwagalwa John nakenda Era ne family yeyo namu hava. We muze avangi. We muti. We bali nyo nyo nyo. We bali vitala. Kala kano. Waliwe kitundwe ito. Kano ni. Kano ni. Ogasi ni museo. Fya kisomye. Ne enja gala kitemu. Kubanga. So ya somye murungeza. Ne enja gala somye murungeza. Kwa kwa ibi ya murungeza. Ndakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Alaji kunze, alaji kutaki. Sechi kuogeza kwenye, tulageti tapuwe. Toki za nganze, jimu kusangi ni tangi kati kunze. Tivikambo wemba gamba nze, tiviogela kuwa ngeze kwa. Nechi tangi wame na munze, apole mnimu ke. Munze kilize, nganze, jimu kusangi ni tangi kati kunze. Uwa munze kilize, ule mnimu kwa. Daratarambaka gamba cha kilize nze, mnimu ke, kie mkola, nze, Kale njaga kuchukiza kuchukiza kwa mwenda abayi wano Mwili mnyumba ya katonda mwari higia Wabula wali woka condition Ele inyigine zisembi yu zila kizeji Wawanga mkama afesu kusu watiki ya jia jia wanuwekuni Ela na gamba ni woyingida Wano woyingide mnyumba ya katonga Kia atene bifuwe kili ya genzo kuteka teka Bidio Kale kowezi ula katonga kuwa atakuye soyo Eko ya pepe na Wakati yesao Kwa ata Kugendenga omatiki ya woyingide Na yoko woyingida kale weba ze Otambulite kala wamuna fabatambula Ela baka kasa kutukenda Obwela mwese ni mwanga wode Kwa wange ela Uwalero wode ya tini chatoli hivyo Kale Mwenye mwese Abata naba Mba ita ni mwingile Naba alaba nilu kwa naba ni yebwele Yetobozi nye kani serio Yengila mwaka waka waka tona Omuli yango ya kusima omu kule Yengila Kwa ata kuye Nyuela Ino kwa viku wa yo, kwa viku wa o kama na kufikia ni nake na viwe teyo Mwari mwari mnyumba, viku viki wa atukambi, kwa wepo watangu wa nyuela Kakati njagala, kuhonze kabiyo na kwa mbukeni Eda kano ni msi ufu, simanyi, tetunche wakura wali uo, anteke zeza wanumbate nze sikia wakate nyo na yanga ambye Tia abantu wanukona nga badze wewa Mwenda Atikwa ingo lukama Yesu mukama wangi
kakati au tuende kuzika na yenga tusikaza omukolo kumuka aba cricket bagenda okwanika eh but siza abwe na yenga tubana wanika tunedet kakati nga tuambuka tugen
Jesus died for me. 
making your prayer. What happened to snacking? Busy is getting in the way of our biting. Munching's become mindless. The colorful, crunchy, bubbly, tangy, soury, savory world of snacking has turned... Spirit, lead me with my trust. 
I need you to lift your hands heavenward one more time. Well, Lord, this is that ocean. This is that place, Father, where you lead us. Faith without borders. Lord, I pray tonight in Jesus' name that as we step out and into all that you have for us, as we have the courage sometimes to step into the great unknown, that there we meet Jesus and we meet the will of God and we meet the purpose of God and we meet the promise of God and we meet the goodness of God. Lord, give us that courage. Give us that Holy Spirit boldness to keep on trusting you, to walk on those waters. Lord, to go into that great unknown at times, but knowing that the God of all knowledge, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent God, that you lead us and you take us. Father, we thank you for what you've accomplished here tonight. Lord, it's only the start. We're excited about Jerusalem, the temple, just a couple of days' time. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. You guys be blessed.